what's good you guys thank you for tuning in to channel 4 i'm your host frosty cones and welcome to the team assessment session of competitive compositions where we build and test teams on pokemon showdown and we see whether or not they work and see if they're cool this week you guys we did a balanced hackmons team the first hackmons team of the series it i gotta say it was kind of a struggle uh and especially in the team testing session we lost five out of five technically actually no we one out of six two out of six actually but one was a forfeit the other was a troll team and uh we got body bagged with the rest of the battles uh it was it was pretty bad it was embarrassing <laughs> not really but this team is actually a really a good team um after especially after using it for uh for the next couple of battles uh that you guys will be seeing and a couple of battles outside of the video that i had uh, just to get some better some better ideas in the hackmons metagame um going a little bit into the team we had deoxys defense quilava mega Bennett, uh mega mewtwo y mega rayquaza and dusclops dusclops was our number one our vip our most awesome player of the team uh sheila really stood out in terms of stalling with the prankster slack off uh toxic leech seed infestation set is really stally i know people hate stalls but i mean it's a it's a it's a mechanic in the game it's it's part of the game if you're gonna if you're gonna get butt twisted about stalling when you like to run uh iron head t wave uh jirachi or uh air slash t wave togekiss then relying on hacks is no different than stalling is basically what i'm trying to say and both are factors of uh in the game and whatever but sheila did put in the work sheila put in the best of work sheila did a lot of uh six o sweeps uh just staying in and being this rock of uh of a pokemon and i don't know i think i think Sheila is, a, is the best lead for the team. Uh, one of the Mons that did not get to shine as bright as the others was definitely Mega Bennett, just because it was kind of there, it's slow, it's frail, uh, it just dies. And not to mention, I realized that I had Poison Powder instead of Poison Jab uh, on it for most of the battles until probably halfway into this video. Um, so that really just took away from the whole point of it having poison touch. Uh, the poison jab is supposed to add on to that, to that poison chance, and we never really got to use it. We never really got to use it. So Bennett was just kind of just kind of there. Uh, Guilavo was just kind of there also, but he did put in the work. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to think like ins and outs uh, were pretty good switches. Uh, as far as switches go, ins and outs were, were pretty clean. Deoxys uh, did provide good support with the setups and baton passes. The only problem is that fourth move slot with T-Wave, I kept uh, wanting to switch out. Um, I did switch it out for Substitute. It did work out pretty well. I'm thinking that it, there needs to be a move to support itself while it's supporting the rest of the team. Uh, that's the thing I was kind of really running into. Uh, Mega Rayquaza, Mega Mewtwo Y. Uh, I was going to name a third Mon, but there is no third Mon. Um, those two put in the fat work. It was nice. Uh, the Protein, Mega Mewtwo Y uh, was awesome. And the Contrary, Mega Rayquaza was pretty awesome. Uh, with the power and uh, superpower, V Create, uh, Dragon Ascent. Draco Meteor, contrary, all contrary. It was nice. It was. I never really use uh, Mega Rayquaza in Hackmons just because it's such a monster and it's basically like the OU or Ubers of Hacks, Hackmons. So um, it was really cool getting to use it and having all that power, all that power in your hands. But I, I try to stay away from that because I like to have the the cooler, more common Mons have stupid shit on them so um that being said again the team was awesome and i definitely want to hear your guys thoughts about it so be sure to leave a thumbs up leave a like all that good stuff um because it did again it lets me know what you guys are liking and not liking so um yeah. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm going to get up out of here, and I'm going to let you guys uh, watch the rest of the battles. Battles. And uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and take it on from there. We'll be moving on into week nine of competitive compositions. And I'll probably want to take a brief hiatus from the series after week 10, just to let some room in my schedule for other series uh, soon to come. So definitely stay tuned. Uh, if you haven't already added yourself to the Sash of Gems, go ahead and do so by subscribing and we'll have a lot of fun together. So thanks you guys for tuning into channel four. I am your host, Frosty Guns. And uh, I'm going to be signing off. Peace.